Hey guys, uh, the Watt here again. Um, uh, one more recap from our Cold Sept uh, Range War. I'm gonna do the uh, Town Hall 11 hit-ups now because they are all on the uh, newer style of Town Hall 11s that are coming out because you're starting to see less and less of the ring bases unless we're seeing shitty clans and you know, the shitty clans are still using the ring bases, but the good clans, especially the good CWL clans that you know we're arranging with, and uh, they're not using those bases any longer. They're starting to use more of these style of bases, more of square anti three bases, which are pretty much you're still kind of doing from what I've seen the uh, the same style of queen walk with a king bowler walk valk dive as you would troop comp wise that you were seeing with the uh the ring bases still kind of the same troop comp a little different variations and but um uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and get into it this is uh this is jezza's uh f hit on number one right here i'd actually hit this previously and uh didn't get the two star so jezza came back and cleaned my uh attack up but um so I drop a uh, earthquake on the town hall right here, and then it's basically just gonna queen walk from right here all the way down to basically six o'clock, and pretty much just cut a really wide funnel. I'm gonna speed this one up because it's it's just a simple queen walk. So uh, yeah, here she goes, just pushing right down the base. <clears throat> Drops a rage right there, gets her moving faster. Now, especially got a couple point defenses on her, so you want to push her around that corner. So, uh, yeah, just moving along, moving along. Drops another rage, gets that queen walk still going. Now, here's one thing I noticed that Jezza is doing differently than a couple of the other guys, um, where. Instead of doing the king and bowler charge, he's doing, you can see he brings a golem. He's doing more of a golem bowler charge so he can bring his king in with his valks and get more value out of that part of the attack. So here you go. Still going with his queen walk, walking around. <clears throat> And then he likes to go ahead and drop his golem. Gets a wizard behind it. <clears throat> and he's going to let that funnel down just a little bit. And then he drops his bowlers in right here. So the eagle targets the golem and not the bowler. So he's still got a couple seconds to get those bowlers moving. So they're going to take out that whole corner right there. And then from here is the uh, the Valk and the King Dive. You can see he drops the jump right here and can just get a beat right through this wall and head straight to the Town Hall. And beautiful. watch how quickly this Town Hall just melts. We've got all four Teslas in a Town Hall. Bomb. Boom. Just that Town Hall just melted within a matter of a second. So um, that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool attack he did there, Jezza. So I'm uh, going to move right on to his next attack on number two. Uh, so this one, as you can see, he starts up here with a couple minions. Just getting the, uh, the hit points on these uh, heavy collectors down. There's an archer over there on that little free camp. Gets the earthquake down early and then starts his queen walk right here. And as you see, he drops a couple Valks right down here on this side because he wants to push his queen up towards the north. <clears throat> so, he drops his rage right here. And he's just going to, like I said, he's just going to kind of push around to the north side and he's going to create a big funnel all the way across this whole northwest face of this base. And you see he's getting Teslas, Wizard Towers, Archer Towers. He's getting a lot of uh, 
a lot of value out of this uh, queen walk. So right here, he, uh, he drops his golem again with his bowlers, opposed to the king bowler walk. He does a golem bowler walk, saving his king for the valk dive again. Cuts out this whole entire side right here. And then, very smartly, he drops two more valks over here on this side, just to make sure that you know everything funnels in. And then here he goes with the, uh, the valk dive. Jump to the town hall. Get the Valkyries up in there, rage them, straight into that town hall. The town hall just melts. Boom, 50%. Done. So, Jez, I really like the uh, the Golem bowler push. I think that's kind of cool when using your, uh, your king as a backup for the Valks. Because, you know, you get the get those Valks underneath the rage, and then you hit that king ability and just... It's just brilliant, man. Really good idea on that. So, uh, our next attack is going to be our boy Wheels hitting on their number three. And uh, this one, where does he start from? He drops an earthquake. Sorry, I was watching like 15 attacks. I don't remember. Oh, okay, yeah, so here he goes. He starts with the uh, the queen walk up here in the north, and then he's going to drop his uh, couple valks because he wants to push her down towards the east, cutting a funnel across this entire base because he wants to enter with his valks right here on the uh, the grand warden. So, he goes, bomb gets one of his healers, but doesn't really matter. So he uh, drops a uh, baby dragon on that archer tower to get that down, so it's not firing on his queen any longer. He has the rage down for her, and he's just pushing her down along the wall. And Wheels is going to elect to uh, do the King Bowler walk instead of a uh, Golem Bowler walk to get more value out of it. So he drops his King down here on this collector with the bowlers. And basically he wants to clear out this whole side so his Valks go straight into that eagle when he does his Valk dive. So as you can see, he's got a really nice long funnel. There's nothing that's going to pull those Valks away from that eagle now. So he drops his Valks in. Drops his jump to the town hall here in just a second. Gets a couple wizards in behind just for a little bit of extra firepower because why not? Drops the rage down. And boom. Town hall melted. <clears throat> Good job, Wheels. And I think that's basically it right there, yeah. <clears throat> now we're going to go to Justin, which Justin does a totally different attack. If you look down here at this troop comp, he has three golems, 14 bowlers, four balloons, and four baby dragons. So he's doing more of a kind of straight up golem based kill squad to create his funnel he's pretty much going to funnel from this cannon to this cannon and then send his bowlers right in on the uh this wizard tower so uh go ahead and get this one playing here <clears throat> gets those camps up there just free percentage it's one thing you always want to look for Oh, that's right. I forgot he takes out these mortars. <clears throat> takes out that mortar, at least, and nothing walks. So then he's going to drop his golem on this mortar, and he's going to, I think, drops a golem right here. Yeah, on that Tesla. I forgot he took out that mortar so that his golem won't walk around. So here you go. He uh, drops his queen over here on this side to start helping the funnel, and he drops bowlers on this side to help with the funnel. And then basically he just cuts that entire uh, northwest face, drops down another golem, drops his king and all of his bowlers with a jump. Very smartly, instead of just dropping that jump right here on the wizard tower, he drops the jump on the walls, both walls, to where instead of something walking around one way and going a different way, they can just jump straight across that wall and across the next wall, which I thought was really cool. So here you go. He's got a bowler dive right here. 
He's got 20 something bowlers going in with his king and just wrecks it. Poison down for the, uh, the queen and the clan castle and just pushes right through. He gets really good percentage on this one. You see he's still got uh, you know, four baby dragons total for the back end of this. So, uh, yeah, these are just new tricks to uh, pay attention to on these uh, these new bases, you know. It's uh, different, a little bit different hitting these bases, but it's still the same concept. You're still just trying to cut a nice long funnel and just make sure your Valks or your Bowlers are getting into where they need to get into. You know, and uh, our hit-up crew is doing really well right now. I kind of... Uh, shit the bed on this one um but uh you know can't get them all every war i'm glad that uh i was able to give jezza a really good idea on number one with my failure <laughs> but uh thanks jezza for uh cleaning that one up man really appreciate it i i tried but i didn't get it so whatever but um yeah so uh to our town hall 11 hit up guys i hope this video kind of helps out a little bit because these were uh really amazing hits on these new style of bases i know they've been giving me a little bit of trouble of figuring out how to uh <clears throat> funnel correctly into these bases but um watching these four hits on this war really uh gave me a good idea of what i should be looking for now and I really appreciate it because I'm always trying to uh, better myself at these hits by watching y'all and listening to y'all and talking to y'all. And um, it's very, very helpful and I do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there, guys. Um, Town Hall 11 hit up crew, baby. Woohoo!